tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. What in the f are we doing? Gordon heads to the town of Beaver, Pennsylvania, and finds a brother and sister at war. What's the problem with the Russians? He is. And while they play the blame game, he points the finger at me. It's always my fault. They are quickly destroying their father's restaurant. I'm here every day. You're, You're not here every here. day. To make matters worse, the dad is completely unaware of how bad the problems really are. Those two need to know how bad they've become. The dining room is filthy. Disgusting. The food is repulsive. Looks like curdled milk. And the kitchen is a health hazard. See the mold around the sides? You're serving rotten food. It's clear that this brother and sister are more focused on their anger and resentment toward each other. Does your dad know that you're this bad? Than running their father's restaurant. You should be ashamed. Tonight. Oh, my God, you disgusting pigs. Get ready for the One Kitchen Nightmares. I am not going to continue that. Where it can all come crashing down. I'm stopping you looking more stupid. Before it even starts. Shut this down. <laughs> what is that? You're serving rotten food. We can possibly kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <coughs> Shut the place down. Get out of here! That is amazing. Thank you, Thank you chef. Beaver, Pennsylvania, an upper-middle-class suburban community located 28 miles outside of Pittsburgh and home to Levante's Italian restaurant, opened in 1998 by Dino Fratangeli. After graduating college, Dino wanted to open a restaurant. How is it here? Yeah? It's good. And with his father, Tony, investing his life savings, Dino's dream came true. Did you start to get orders? When we opened, there wasn't much down here, and the town had a need for uh, a restaurant. Cajun chicken and broccoli. And I was a little overwhelmed with how much business we had. The fun hasn't begun yet. So I asked my sister to come in and help me out. OK, there's eight of you. At the time, I had a flower shop. I was a florist, but I felt like I needed to help Dino. So I sold my flower shop and came to work here at Levante's. Enjoy. We'll be right with you. Everything was going fine. And then, unfortunately, we got competition. That changed everything. How many tables do you each have? Two. That's it? Mm -hmm. People just aren't coming to Levante's anymore. The real reason the restaurant is failing is because of Tina and Dino. Janae, what's our special tonight? Pasta spinaci. <laughs> That's our special all the time. Dino has absolutely no clue what he's doing in the kitchen. I'm going to put it on top. Are you kidding? I'm going to let you do this. The quality of the food is gross. It's definitely chewy. They're like rubber. When are we opening, guys? Tina, I would replace her with a manager who knew what she was doing. Are you kidding me? She's a disaster. I can't um, figure it out. One of the most frustrating things is just the fact that Tina and Dino cannot function together. It's just so simple. Simple. A big sister doesn't like to listen to her little brother very often. Our communication's a one-way street. You've done nothing that I've asked you to do as a general manager. No, that's not true. He points the finger at me for everything. It's always my fault. Dino? Dino? All right, all right. Dino and my relationship got worse, and Dino walked away for about a year and a half and left the whole business on my shoulders. This is too hard in the middle. And then tried to come back. It just kept declining. Our situation's pretty desperate. Right now, we owe 1,200. Do they have a 10-day grace period? No. They're not even being patient anymore. I put so much money this way inside this restaurant. If this restaurant closes, I'll be at a quarter of a million dollars. Just don't know what happened. I feel really bad for Tony because I don't think that he really even knows like how bad it is. Tina and Dino are basically throwing his money away. This place is a disaster. Honestly, if Chef Ramsay was not coming, I would have given it six months to live and or just board it up. As Chef Ramsay makes the short drive in from the Pittsburgh airport, he takes one more look at the video message that convinced him to come to Levante's. 
I'm calling out for help. My brother and I have owned for 14 years. We have a lot of bitter arguments over this, and hopefully you can come help us to get our restaurant back. I really need your help. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? I know you, I recognize you, how are you? Nice to meet you. Likewise, uh, good to see you. It's a pleasure. Um, thank you for that message. Um, I didn't realize things were that bad, but... Yes. Personally, how are you doing? I'm okay. Okay. Are you sure? I'm ready for your help. Okay, um, where's brother, where is he? Probably in the back. Okay, let's sit down and have a, okay. a chat, shall we? Please. Please. Making that a phone call for Chef Ramsay was just my last hope. <laughs> I just really need the help. Hey, how are you? Dino. Dino, good to see you. Take a seat. Uh, right, good to see you both. Good, good to, see, to you. see you. Give me a little insights behind the scenes. When did you open? Uh, we opened in 1998. Right. I had uh, just graduated college and I was kind of trying to find my, my way in life. And mm -hmm. me and my father uh, kind of got together and he was my financial backer. So dad bought the ration for you? <laughs> yes. Wow. So you started business together? Actually, he wanted to start the business and asked me to come along with him. Oh, At the so time, I had a flower shop. So why would you leave the flower shop? I felt a I needed to help, you know? I felt it was the right thing. Mm -hmm. So you've given up a lot to keep this business afloat? Yes. And where does your father sit in this? Throughout the years, he's put his money into it. How much longer can your father support it financially? I don't think anymore. Not anymore. much longer at all. Not much longer? No. What's the problem with the restaurant? He is. That's there insane. Was, no, that is insane. That's the truth. Who's in charge? Him. He says he is. Right. But I'm here more often than he oh, is. Really? Uh, I wouldn't say that she's here more than me. Chef, I've been here double probably of what she's been here. No. You here? left me here. There's a reason why I left. Oh, you left the restaurant? I, I, I took my time away from the restaurant for a couple of years. A couple of years? The situation between me and her just started really dissolving. And I kind of decided to take a little hiatus. And why would you take time out? I left because I didn't want to lose my sister forever because I was getting to that point that I would hate her. But, and Tina, give you an insight to what happened when Tina left. What, what, what happened to the restaurants? I mean, I was here as much as I needed to be. How many hours a week? Can you answer that? When she says she was here Wait, all the time, well, it was 25 hours a week. No, I'm here. You're not here. When was the last night you worked? It doesn't matter. In the last I'm here two the months. Nine, when was the last nine evening? in the morning till four in, in the afternoon. You're not here till four o'clock. Okay, can't you learn in front of the house? I'm here every day. No, you're, you're not here every I'm here, day. I'm here Just every, in the last six months you've been last here every eight, day. Ten months. You know? and, and, and I was here every day. I lived here. For 10 years. You cannot open the restaurant without me. The truth, right? You probably could. I mean, I did in the beginning. I just haven't done it for several years. Chef, no. I've tried Chef, for 14 years. Chef, he stands years. back there in that doorway, there, mm -hmm. and he does this to me when I've been working and calling me at the same time. In the same building? And it's right there. Like, walk out and talk How's to me. How's that crazy? I'm just trying to get a hold of you. Now, I'm dirty, and I don't like coming out here with dirty clothes you know, on and cooking clothes. I don't like my cooks upstairs. to be out here. OK, so I'm going to run upstairs when I could just motion to you to come back. here. That's just yeah. insanity. Like, and you hate me because of that? I, I don't you hate, hate you that, for that. that. That drives you crazy? There's a problem with something. Maybe someone's table. Maybe a, a question. Yeah, I just think I it's mean, annoying. Do you want me to, to scream it across the room? The Tina, can you come over here? No, don't scream. I mean, scream, seriously, you're upset at me because of that? I can't understand Look, this, why he won't walk in the dining room. We don't even argue because we don't talk long enough to argue. Because you're not here. Coming up. Strange. Chef Ramsay comes face to face with some of the worst food he's ever seen. Gross. And later. What in the hell? An unbelievable kitchen investigation. He's serving rotten food. Threatens the future of Levante's. I am stopping the owners serving this disgusting mess. Within minutes of arriving at Levante's, Chef Ramsay has witnessed how destructive this restaurant has been on this brother and sister relationship. Hey, Chef. Follow me, sir. Now it's time to find out if the food is suffering as well. How are you? 
you? I'm Ralphie, how are you? Good, I'm Sam. Nice Sam, to meet nice you. Sam, nice to see you likewise. Good to see you. Good. A happy, smiley face for once. <laughs> I met I'm the owners honest. earlier and they were down and in the dumps. Are they always like that? Yes, that's an always. OK, then. Let's order. OK. Got to go for the stuffed uh, banana peppers. Um, I've got to try that Italian stuffed filet. OK, how do you yeah. like it done? Medium rare, please. OK. Um, Carletta. Mm -hmm. It's our signature sauce. And who came up with that idea? Dino. Dino. Mm -hmm. It came to him in a dream. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Our claim to fame came in a dream from someone who knows nothing about food or how to prepare it. Flippin' heck. OK. <laughs> um, got to go for the chicken carletta, because okay. that's the sauce that was dreamt of one night in his dream. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And it begins. Don't sweat the chef. Do what you guys normally do. What is that, olive oil? Yeah, but it doesn't taste yeah, like no, olive oil. Do you mind if I have a little taste? Go ahead. Oh, it's very watery. It tastes like fine oil. <laughs> it does. Excuse me, sir. Is yes. Tina nearby? Yeah, absolutely. Please, thank you. Wow, that's dreadful. Tina? Chef Ramsay's asking for you at 43. Oh, uh, no. Tina's been such a hands off manager for so many years now that she's become so blase. Yes, sir. Um, and what is that olive oil there? Is that canola oil? No, it's... Olive oil? Pomsol. Oh, oh, oh. Is that the... Is that what you're serving there? It's that mix. Look at that. <laughs> it smells off. Can you smell that? What's in there? I don't know. When was the last time they were cleaned? I don't know. You're the front of the house. What a mess. Is the bathroom nearby? I can just yes, go wash my hands. To the Please. right. What happened there? What's that? Tiramisu. Oh, my God. Are they done every day? Probably a couple weeks ago. No, Wait, is that a fake tumor suit? Like no, you... it's... That's a real tumor suit? Too. Oh, come on. No, that's... So that's just sat there from fresh. And you said two weeks? No, probably three weeks ago. That is longer than three weeks. <laughs> this stinks. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Sam. Yes? How long have these desserts been sat here? A couple of months. A couple of, couple of months? A couple of months? You yeah. just told me three weeks. No, I would say under a month. It was a couple of months. Do they stay out all night? Yeah. That is a health hazard. Oh, my God. My boots. I, I can't. I can't do this. The chef's will over here. OK. Here's our stuffed this, filet. This is the stuffed filet. Yes. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Diane. You're welcome. Wow. What a mess. I asked for mid rare, but it's raw. It's almost like you've got a sticky knife in it to, to kill it. I mean, the thing's still moving. Um, Sam, uh, I'm trying to cut into that. I asked for mid rare, but it's like uh, raw. It's a little raw. Is that steak frozen? Probably. Could you just check with the chef? Yes. Please? Was that steak frozen? He wants to know. I don't. Was this frozen? Yeah. Yeah. That okay, one well, he wasn't. said it's raw. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. Which one? Both. All those crumbs oh, under there. Yeah. Why is everything so dirty here? There's crap everywhere. I mean, just crumbs and hairs and disgusting. Uh, Tina. Yes, how often is the restaurant cleaned? I know you've got we... your dates wrong with the dehydrated desserts. Uh, we do our own shop. cleaning. You do your own cleaning. I, I appreciate that. That's not what I asked. How often is the restaurant cleaned? How often? Um, I can't answer. You can't answer. OK. Who knows the answer to how often the restaurant's cleaned if it's not you? I should know that. You should know. There we are. You know, Dino always comes out smelling like a rose. What's that noise? Like somebody's drilling. The register. God, is it always like that? Yeah. That noisy? Yeah, the phone's worse. Jeez. Ah. Banana peppers. Thank you. Absolutely. What's that? 
way too much cheese. It's like congealed snot. Sam, is this what they'd normally be like? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Strange. Very, very strange. What do you think? Right now, I'm confused. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen, you know, peppers, stuff like that. What's well, happened? Well, they're frozen. They're frozen. So when you put them in the microwave, and but then you lift them up, all that stuff comes out. All that water comes out. Yeah. I feel like I'm eating donkey's <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Wow. Now we've gone from bad to bizarre. You know. What? You want to know what he said about these ones? What did he say? Feels like he's eating a donkey's pee pee. <laughs> because since he knows you froze them, all the crap comes out because there's all that water in there. This is starting to get absurd. Sam, be respectful. Be respectful. Dino, this is Chef's Chicken Carletta. All right, I'm taking the Carletta now. Looking good, looking good. Chicken Thank Carletta you. Capellini. This is the, OK, that's, great. That's the dream sauce. This is the dream sauce. Yes. Mm. How do you think? What a mess. How much garlic did you put in there? Um, I have no idea. And the chicken, why is the chicken so hard? It's like no bullets. Idea. Wow. God help them. Thank you, Diane. You're welcome. Brought together in a dream. Unfortunately, he didn't realize at the time he was having a <laughs> nightmare. Oh, my gosh. Dino. What? He said, how much garlic do you really put in this? And I said, who knows? And then he said, the, could you get the chicken any drier? The chicken any drier. I disagree with what he had to say about my chicken Carletta. I prayed for months for guidance, and my Carletta sauce is inspired by God. Uh, come over, guys. And this is? Mike Marker. Mike? Yes, sir. Nate. Nate. Uh, I don't know where to start. I'm, I'm lost for words. But what I will say is I think this is the worst Italian food I've ever eaten. Where shall I start? The stuffed banana peppers. It was full of water, frozen. Microwaves and then some bizarre, weird canned sauce. The chicken carletta. Chicken was rubbery, shredded, chewed. You didn't like the sauce? It was gross. It was garlicky. It was just like something that shouldn't have been put together in the first place. Help me to understand the madness. I got inspired by mm -hmm. a higher power. A higher power? Go on. God. I mean that. God made the sauce. I mean, you can't all be there. Can you guys? Go back in the kitchen so I can yes, work with the owners. Dina, Tina, both of you come over. When you can't even keep the place clean, that sends the alarm bells ringing. But I think deep down inside, you don't care and you've stopped caring. That's not true. Really? I do care. Dino, talk to me. I'm Completely overwhelmed. Dino, who are you talking to? Any chance of looking at me in the eyes? Do you have a pair of bollocks? I'm over here. I mean, I'm going to stand there, but just talk to me. Uh, what is the proper way to keep the front of the house of the restaurant clean? Oh, come on, Dino. No, I'd... Aren't you embarrassed? Does your dad know that you're this bad? Take your father out of the equation, and you're. We can't go on like this. We need help. I hope he's coming back. I don't think he is. <laughs> After a very frightening first few hours, Chef Ramsay tracks down the man responsible for funding Levante's. Tony, how are you? Good, Chef. Dino and Tina's father, Tony. I'm not for words. I walked in there, and the first thing that hit me was the animosity. And yeah. I'm nervous because I don't know if I can help because those two don't care. OK. But if it wasn't for your continued financial support, this business wouldn't survive. We were doing real good up to about four or five years ago. I, I kind of blame the economy more mm -hmm. than anything, you know? But it's not the economy that's affecting your restaurant now, that, that's, that's not the economy. Well, I, that's what they tell me anyway. Yeah. Maybe they're telling you that so you can keep funding it. Yeah, right, right. How much does the business owe you? Over, over 200,000. 200,000. Just down to nothing almost, you know? Must be heartbreaking. 
Yeah, I fight with my wife too, and she start crying, you know, stuff like that. She's kind of upset about it. She's like, just close it up. Sure. And she's telling me close up. I don't want to hear this no more, you know. I'm really sorry. I'm here for you. I'm going to get changed, and I'll be in there tonight. Thank you very A much, deal. Jeff. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. All right, guys. You ready? All right, let's get this crap on the road. As Chef Ramsay's first observation of a dinner service begins... Zucchini parm and a baked rigatoni. He has made sure that he is not the only one watching Dino and Tina's performance. Tony, how are you? Their father, Tony, is in the kitchen for the first time in several months. So, this is the line, right? Yes. Yes, Chef. Uh, how old's that stove? Oh, like 50 years old, I'm assuming. The burners I have lit are the only burners that work. These don't work at all. The ovens don't work? No. Are you kidding me? No. If you start me with that, what chance have you got? Dino, this slip is sold. There's that, D. Dino, what about my appetizers? Is that for me? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, my god. Dino, are you actually expediting? I'm expediting. All you're doing is just lifting food from that side of the kitchen and putting it to that side of the kitchen. But I thought you were expediting. I got to kind of ask Mike. He's got enough to do. Any of my food up? Uh, that's real. Hold on, hon. Hold on one second. Wow. That's yours, but I think these three are mine. Despite the chaos in the kitchen, the servers somehow managed to sort it out. The pizza here? And food is making its way out to the diners. Thank you. Unfortunately, the speed of service doesn't make up for the disappointing flavor. It's very chewy and gummy. It doesn't even look like meat. This is Alfredo sauce. Yes. Um, and it's kind of chunky, it looks like. If I could, if something I could something else instead. I'll give you a menu. Thank How's that? OK. Dino, um, they think the Alfredo's lumpy. What's wrong with it, Dino? I don't think he drained all of the. What is that, Alfredo? It's Alfredo. Um, that's a disgrace. OK, your chicken tastes like it's frozen and unfrozen. Oh, no. Can you please make me another one? Guys, can you please look at my fettuccine sauce? Look at that. Are you Looks serious? like curdled milk. Are you, are you kidding me? No care, nothing, guys. I mean, I just, no wonder the food's coming back. What in the hell? Is this the chicken? Yeah. Stop. Stop. Uh, Dino, urgently. That's the chicken we've been serving all night, yeah? Why is it sat in all that? Look how slimy it is. Oh, my god. How old is that? Oh, my god. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Tony, two seconds. Tina, you're part of this. What in the are we doing? How old is that? I don't know. Look at the color of the chicken. Green and stinking. Hold that. What's this? Hi. In what? We're serving that. Excuse me. Look at the way we work. What is this? What is this? Anybody? I have no idea. You've got no idea. And this? How old's this? Oh, my God. You disgusting pigs. Look at that. Yeah, it's fermented. Just, just, just smell that. Just smell that. Come on, please. You own it. Ladies, we've been serving that. See the mold around the side? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought that was basil. Oh, my God. No, that's not basil. I wish it was basil. How long does a sauce sit in the fridge to get moldy around the top? Quite a, quite a long time. I didn't expect to see all this. They're not doing the job they're supposed to be doing. And these guys, they're going to have a rough time now. Does the town of Beaver deserve this? Absolutely not. You should be ashamed. Ashamed. Now, walk out there and apologize to your guests and try and do something you've never done in 14 years. <laughs> Work together. I'm not going out there. Let's go. Excuse me. Um, we, we appreciate you guys coming out here and and um, trying out our, our, our restaurant tonight, but uh, we won't be having any more service. Uh, Chef Ramsay has shut us down for the evening. How? Oh, guys, guys. Thank you. Dino, you're telling them that I'm shutting it down. 
I was just... I heard you. I was standing behind the door. Chef Ramsay did not shut this down. I stopped the owners from serving food. But I am not going to continue that. Because you don't realize right now, young man, how bad you've become. So I'm not shutting it down. I'm just stopping you looking more stupid. Did you honestly want to continue serving? So you want to continue? You, you want to you continue serving? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, can I just have your attention for 30 seconds? Oh, gosh, he has it in his hand. Oh, my God. After Chef Ramsay discovered rotten chicken... Look how slimy it is. ...and moldy sauce... You disgusting pigs. Dino and Tina blame the shutdown of the restaurant on... Chef Ramsay has shut us down. Dino, you're telling them that I'm shutting it down. And now Chef Ramsay is determined to give a more accurate explanation. Ladies and gentlemen, can I just have your attention for 30 seconds? First of all, my apologies, but I'm not going to BS anybody. I am not shutting this restaurant down. I am stopping the owners serving this disgusting mess from chicken that's already slimed off, gone, to disgusting basil that was never fresh, to a tomato sauce that's actually caked in mold. I am not going to sit here and play party to that. I'm embarrassed. And whilst I am totally appreciative for you leaving your homes to come here tonight for dinner, I've got too much respect for you and too much respect for the industry. I am not going to be party to this any longer. My sincere apologies. OK, well, that was embarrassing. Well, what do we do? I'm to comp everything. I can't believe it. I'm very, very pissed off right now. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. No wonder they complain out there. Now I know exactly why this place wasn't making any money. I'm embarrassed. I'm sorry. Absolutely. Uh, listen, I am so freaking sorry. Let me tell you. But those two need to know how bad they've become. I'm not going to continue serving food like that. I uh, don't blame I, you. I, I, I don't sorry. want people to eat I didn't come here for that. No. I wouldn't want to eat that either, you know? I see what's going on, and I'm sick of it. These kids got a lot of work to do. They've given up. I worked my ass off all my life. Good job. Hey, listen, I'm here for you. I'm going to do everything I can to get this business turned around. But I need you, OK? You got me. I'm going to get involved. I'm not going to make it easy for nobody. OK. Thank you very much. While Chef Ramsay is disappointed with Dino and Tina, he remains in the town of Beaver to support Tony. I turn. Who has been blindsided by his children's lack of commitment. OK, this is going to be the most important meeting with your son and daughter since you've opened that business. They need to fight for the jobs and they need to understand you are the boss. Yeah? You ready? Tough love. My kids better change. I will close the restaurant and they're both going to be hot. Truthfully? I don't think both of you know how easy you've had it. You're fighting against each other, as opposed to fighting for the future of the business. I gave you a chance, both of you. You guys never did what you're supposed to do, you know? Both of you have to stop arguing. Otherwise, you're not going to get nothing out of that business. I'll sell the building, I'll close it up, and you are not going to get nothing out of it. I got to be dead for you to get anything. Well, Dad, I'm sorry for letting you down. And I promise, and I will make you proud. I want I'll, you guys to work hard. I will work and do whatever necessary to get a restaurant going again. Uh, 
I, I first let me just apologize, Dad, for everything that we've been through for the last couple of years. I thought I knew what problems we had, and I had no idea that I didn't know. And uh, if you give me another opportunity, I promise you from the bottom of my heart that I am 100% committed. Well, you show me then. I'm giving you guys a chance. You guys better work together. You now roll up your sleeves more than ever before, because tomorrow we are relaunching your father's restaurant. And I want to see both of you ready to work. My team, alongside the research that I've been doing, we've been looking at what's not available in Beaver County. And based on that research, let me tell you, Levantis needs a dramatic change. Levantis is going to become an American bistro. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Please. Thank you, Chef. See you in the Thank morning. You. Thank you, Chef. See you in the morning. Thank Get ready for change. Thank you, Chef. I agree with Chef Ramsey. Things needed to change, and uh, I think all of us are extremely excited about the new Levante's Bistro. Coming up. You guys are starting to make me look like an idiot. It's a relaunch night filled with drama. You're falling behind. And emotion. You screw up. This is going to be the end. It's not only Dino and Tina's last chance. I'm confused. It's the restaurants as well. Oh, come on, guys. Wake up a little bit. Faced with a restaurant that hasn't been touched in 15 years, Chef Ramsay and his team have their hands full as they transform Levante's from an Italian restaurant into a modern American bistro. Right, good morning. Good morning, Chef. How are we? Good. good. We're good. Are you ready to see a stunning new restaurant? Yes. Yes, Chef. OK, take off your blindfolds. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Holy wow. heck. Welcome to the new Levantes, your American bistro. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. It's awesome. Oh, wow. Gone are those dark and dreary walls. Take a look how new and modern, how appealing it is. This is awesome. We got rid of those horrendous, filthy booths. Replace them with new chairs, new tabletops, and a brand new central seating area. Beautiful, thank you so much. I haven't smiled in here for a long time, and I can't seem to stop. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Chef. Now, one more thing. During my first meal, I couldn't even concentrate on my food. It sounded like a construction site with this thing hammering around. <laughs> Shaking away. So, I'd like to introduce you to a stunning oh POS system. Oh, my gosh. Yay. From POS, Lavu, and Sefa Hardware. It is easy to use, it's wireless, and it can be operated anywhere in this building. Get out. This is the cutting edge of POS systems. It will truly help in terms of purchasing, your fixed costs, and your profit. That's cool. Oh, yes. That's cool. We're going to have a new beginner, and it's, this, is, this is just awesome. I told you, day one, that I'm here to support you. So I have found you two consultants, and they run two very successful restaurants. One of them is listed in the top 25 restaurants in Pittsburgh, Avenue B. I'd like to introduce you to Chef Chris Bonvilli and his wife, General Manager Jen Bonvilli. Chris, how are you, sir? I'm doing well. Good to see you. Are you well? Yep, I am. Jen, how are you, my darling? Welcome. Good to see you. Chris is going to orchestrate with a kitchen, and Jen is going to help set up the dining room. We're happy to come in and just do what we do and make awesome food. So that's what we're Brilliant. all about. They are here on a consultant basis. So you need to listen and take that level of expertise and put it into this restaurant and pass that knowledge down to your team. Tony, Dino, Tina, I've got one more little surprise for you guys. Come with me. Thank you. Welcome to your new kitchen. Wow. Oh, yes. Wow. Look at this space. First of all, when I arrived, this kitchen was so dilapidated I wouldn't even attempt to cook anything from there, let me tell you. So, I made some rather urgent calls to my friends at Cully Quip, and I asked them to put together a line of brand new equipment. Let's start off with an amazing, energy efficient Falcon six burner range. Top of the line. Wow. When I say top of the range, I'm talking top of the range. It has a griddle top. Underneath that, it has a broiler. Underneath that, it has two ovens. 
Next to that, you've got a two-basket fryer from Pitco. Opposite that, an amazing brand-new steam table from Eagle Group. And then this, for me, is the Rolls-Royce, a state-of-the-art Blodgett brushed stainless steel convection oven. This Blodgett holds five baking trays. It's amazing, chef. You now have all the tools to run this as a successful restaurant, let me tell you. There's no excuse. No excuse. Now that Levante's has been converted into a contemporary American bistro... Excellent. Come through, please. Chef Ramsay continues his plan by introducing a brand new menu to match. We're cooking American classics. Looks good. Looks beautiful. <laughs> Let's start off with the corn bisque. Sweet corn, done beautifully, seasoned, and served with little fritters. Awesome. Next to that, we've got mussels, done with pancetta, shallots, garlic, white wine, butter, classic. Entrees, starting off with a braised lamb shank, braised with vegetables, red wine, and a really nice lamb stock. And that will just fall off the bone. Wow. Yeah? It's tremendous. And then finally, pan-seared salmon with barley, salad, braised fennel, and pancetta with fresh herbs. Nobody has a menu like this locally. Now you can stand out from the competition. I think everything looks so good here. Good. Anybody hungry? Yeah. Yes. Good. Get some knife and forks. Dig in. Oh, my God. That is good. It is delicious, amazing food. Amazing. I think we can compete now. Amazing. I want to eat it all. I just love it. It's good. It's relaunch night at Levante's, but before they open for business, Tony has a little business of his own. Tonight, you got to promise me that you guys are going to work hard and make this happen. The entire giving it to you guys. Giving you, giving you. You, gonna, you guys are going to give back to me. Believe me, I understand you don't have to tell me again, Down. Committed. I promise. They should to me. Because I'll tell you what, if you guys don't you screw up, this is going to be the end. You understand? I got it. We're on it. So much pressure this evening. But I meant what I said. I'm going to work hard and earn his trust back. I'm going to be watching you guys. With the pressure clearly on, Levante's opens its doors to the town of Beaver, Pennsylvania for the first time as an American bistro. How different it looks. Good evening, folks. Welcome. Follow me, please. I have the New York strip. Wow, that's really high tech. High tech Heck yeah. <laughs> we aren't playing around anymore. With Chris guiding Dino in the kitchen. Crab cake dip. Crab is in our hands right now, selling you two dip. And Jen working with Tina in the dining room. You could always cap the end of that four top. The relaunch is off to a smooth start. Wow. I can't believe this is safe. Works. <laughs> What's this? I'm confused. I don't have the slip. Checks on the printer, chef. Check on the printer. Got a stack of checks up there. Yeah, I know. I gotta get. I got. I have a stack right here. I just call right now. Calling to lamb salmon. Table number, please. Sorry, table number 51. Thank you. Dino is pretty rough at running the pass. Uh, he's pretty timid. Uh, I think he's not so sure of himself. He's having a hard time kind of grabbing the reins and, and getting after it. Come on, Dino, get on top of it. You've got to work three or four tables at once. Yeah. You're getting confused with the tickets. Look at me. Yeah. You're falling behind. Get on top of it, please. We're in the <laughs> now. Let's go. Sweet. Perfect. Perfect. One hour and counting. Can I get a time on table one, please? 71 appetizer. How much longer for table three? They've been waiting a really long time. Did I already give that to you? Are you kidding me? Dino needs to get his stuff together, or else we're going to be an embarrassment once again to the entire community. Yeah, no, we're in now. Let's go. I got this table 43 been waiting here over an hour for food. 43. Hey, Dino, 43. What's going on? They've been here for an hour. Table 43. I feel like we we sold that. I really hope that Dino catches on quick. Because if you screw up the first time, I'll give you the second chance. You screw up the second chance, you're done with me. OK, look, stop, Dino. Fire, Caesar. Stop. 43 has not gone out. Oh, God. It's an hour into the relaunch of Levante's, and Dino has lost control of the kitchen. Table 43. I feel like we sold that. Stop, Dino. Fire, Caesar. Stop. 43 has not gone out. Dino, yeah. jump the tickets, OK? Jump the tickets. What? We've got to handle that one first. Chris, can you stop what you're doing? 
for five minutes. Join it by the sides. Dino, wake up a little bit. You need to own it. Let's go. If I'm waiting on a burger medium to sell, then my next order I'm looking for salmon midwell, burger midwell. I realized tonight how much I do need Chris's help. I have uh, a mountain of learning ahead of me. It's just going to take a little bit of time for me. Table three, yes, burger. Hallelujah. Check sold. A burger. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll come back and check on you. Enjoy. Firing. Table four, muscles, butcher's board. Dino has a, a ton to learn at this point, but he has an awesome opportunity here, and he's the one that has to, to make it happen. Yay! Right, that's it. This is all sold. We'll be back. We'll be here. <laughs> well done. Levante's is back on the map. Big Thank time, you, yes? <laughs> this gorgeous town. Loved American Bistro. Did you hear the feedback from the food? I didn't have a single complaint tonight. Tina, did a great job. Sure. Dino, tonight you had a first grasp of what it's really like running the fort. Yeah, I did. And tonight, Chris and Jen ran your restaurants. You've got to stick with them. You've got to listen to them. A big thank you to them both, because I thought you did an amazing job. Thank you very much. Uh, well done. Good night, guys. Uh, good job. Tony, two minutes. Listen, that was a tough day. I had such a good time. You did? Yes. Everybody loved it. And it's good to see you smiling. <laughs> <laughs> you have a town now that is in love with your restaurant again. You can walk out those doors and hold your head up high. I can't thank you enough. You're a special father, let me tell you. There's not many about. Take care, Captain. Thank you. Yeah, good to see you. Love to the family. OK. I'm going to listen to you. Good night. Good night. Take care. <sighs> when I came to Beaver, Pennsylvania, I had no idea that this would be one of the biggest kitchen nightmare transformations ever. But there are still two very big question marks remain. One's Dino, and the second one's Tina. Will they finally step up and satisfy not just their father, but their customers too? This is a very close-knit town, and I guess we'll just have to leave it to Beaver. Wow. In the weeks that followed... And table one, Janae. Good evening. Hi. How you doing? Chris and Jen continued their training of Dino and Tina. They need to see you hustling, too. They're going to hustle as much as you hustle. And with brother and sister working well together... How's everything up? It's going OK. I was coming to check on you. Tony can rest a bit easier, knowing that his children are in control and that the future of Levante's looks bright. All right, let's do it. Next time on Kitchen Nightmares. Go, 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 go. Gordon meets an owner who runs his business like a dictator. Just do what you do. I don't care what he says. And his staff are at their wit's end. The way you treat me is disrespectful, crude. Then you need to find another place to work. Chef Ramsay finds himself in a war with an owner so arrogant. Are you talking now? And so resistant to change. Wake up! You wake up! This restaurant just might be impossible to save. You want me out of here? I'm gonna leave. Good! Keeper Sutherland returns in the two-hour season premiere of Touch, one week from tonight.